Hello Year 8, it's Mrs Lash here to talk to you about History GCSE. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you have begun to wonder if you should choose History GCSE. Hopefully this video will help you make up your mind. Should I choose History GCSE? When you're making your decisions about whether to choose History GCSE, there are four things that you probably need to ask yourself. What will I learn about? How will I be taught? Where will it take me? And will I be good at it? The first one is what I will learn about. We have chosen five fascinating topics for you get to learn about and I'm going to talk you through each one of them. We start our course by investigating medicine in Britain from the year 1250. We investigate all of the deadly diseases that people have suffered ever since the medieval period, such as the Black Death and cholera. We look at what people blame disease on and how they've tried to cure them. And we'll also investigate why surgery was so deadly in the past. After that, we study medicine and surgery in a particular place, the British sector of the Western Front during World War I. You'll find out what it was like to live and fight in the trenches of World War I, what illnesses and injuries soldiers suffered, and what um, experimental treatments were discovered during the First World War. After that, we move on to Germany um, between 1918 and 1939. We'll study why Germany became so unstable after World War I. How Hitler and the Nazi party not only came to power, but how they were able to stay in power and what it was like to live in Nazi Germany. We then move on to um, study the superpower relations and the Cold War. We'll investigate how the USA and the USSR became rivals after 1945. How the rivalry between the USA and the USSR almost destroyed the world in a nuclear war and how did the Cold War end and who won it? And our final GCSE history topic will be the Elizabethans between 80, uh, sorry, 1558 and 1588. We'll look at what problems faced Elizabeth as a new queen, how she survived the plots against her, how she ended up at war with Spain and why her reign was a golden age for England. If these topics sound interesting to you, then the next question to ask is how will I be taught? Both myself, Mrs Lash and Mrs Shipley are subject specialists and it will be one of us who will be teaching you next year. We both take a very similar approach to the course. We will talk to you about the past in a fascinating way so that you understand it. Give you retrieval practice activities to help you improve your knowledge and memory. Present you with interesting sources of evidence and help you analyse them. Prepare activities which encourage you to read and think independently. And set you homework which builds on what you have learnt in class and helps you keep the knowledge of topics already completed just ticking along. Where will it take me? Some students might go on to be historians, but most students who take history don't go down that route because history gives you so many useful and transferable skills which employers value really highly. And these are a few of them at the side here. After doing GCSE history, there are all sorts of career paths that you might go down. Here are just a few of them. These are common areas where historians work and don't forget that hist history is also an excellent subject to study for A-level. The final question which you might be asking yourself is will you be any good at GCSE history? Well, anybody can be get better at doing history, but to succeed at GCSE, there are three qualities that you really, really do need. Firstly, you need to be the kind of person who enjoys reading and likes reading independently, because as historians, we do a lot of that. 
Secondly, you need to be the kind of person who enjoys extended writing, including writing short essays, because in history, that is how we assess you. And lastly, you need to be the kind of person who will work hard to memorise knowledge off by heart. As historians, we have to know lots of facts, so it really is important that we are able to learn and memorise it. Now, you don't need to be the best in the world at all of these three things, but you do need to be prepared to work very hard at them if you are going to be a success. If you're still unsure if history is for you, then please do get in touch. So you can email me at lash at henleyschool.com.